got this purple thing here. Surprising, really. The red one went right away. You'll remember I posted a video on these a couple weeks ago. That's the Luna. I guess purple's just not everyone's color. So it's up on my reverb page. Uh, if anybody wants a purple guitar, um, freshly set up. Electronics are good too on this. Uh, it just has to be your thing. It's got that sort of uh, ash finish. Um, uh, quilted ash, I should say. You probably can't see it in the light here, but um, yeah, I thought that would go right away. Usually the interesting colors attract certain people, but this one's uh, hung around a couple of weeks. I want to do a quick video um, on some things that have come up with uh, folks messaging me. And um, first of all, yes, this is a nice Whitner metronome. Somebody spotted that. Um, it's excellent for practicing. Uh, my daughter plays the piano. I'm a hack on the piano. I don't really play properly. I just uh, play by ear. But she plays classically and um, when she took piano lessons, she had a very stringent, um, I think it was a Ukrainian teacher named Olga, who insisted on uh, old style metronome. And I got a nice Whitner and um, you know, it's, uh, it's a good investment. I also have, uh, I don't have it here, but I have a, a little electronic one that I sometimes use if I'm uh, playing guitar somewhere away from the piano. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, the classical music that you see on the piano sometimes is not mine, it's my, my daughter's. Uh, I can play um, some. I can play one or two Bach inventions. Um, I can play a little bit of Chopin, one of the preludes or a couple of the preludes. Uh, I can BS my way through half of Moonlight Sonata. <laughs> um, but I mostly play by ear, just sort of improvise on the piano. Uh, having some music theory really helps uh, with uh, chording and comping and that sort of thing. Uh, but I'm mostly a string player. But a couple of people have commented on this piano. It's a really, really nice uh, Yamaha Cherry piano. It's uh, got it um, on an excellent deal. It's been a wonderful piano. I love having a piano in the house. Um, pianos are very therapeutic as well. Uh, I often sit and play, um, just tinker around on the piano, just basically pretending to be Debussy and doing atmospheric stuff most of the time, but uh, I do enjoy it. So thanks to the uh, people who have noticed the things behind me uh, on these videos. Um, I started shooting videos in my uh, um, studio, but it's a, it's a, sort of a basement uh, dwelling with a very high shallow window so the light's not that great in there it's very cramped i've got too many guitars in there there's not much room to maneuver so uh, i started shooting out here the, there is um, natural light behind you um behind the camera i should say um, so it's a little bit more brighter in here it's more natural i like natural light on videos i'm not a big fan of people you know investing in lights and all that i know i should but um i'm really not that picky when it comes to technicalities and that's my next uh, comment um, a, a couple of people have uh, mentioned the fact that I'm using a rather old camera and it is an old Panasonic, it's a, an actual video camera. Um, it's probably well past production date now. I find it easy to use, I put it on a tripod. Um, I like old style cameras, I don't like shooting video on phones. and. Uh, uh, iPads and things like that, or even laptops. I don't know why. I just I like cameras that are cameras. Uh, maybe I'm a fuddy duddy, an old bugger. Um, but um, there you go. That's what I like. Um, and I will try to upgrade it. Uh, a couple people have said it's grainy. I could do better. Blah blah blah. Um, my focus is not to really try and compete with these people who are doing neo professional videos. I really want to stay content based. I want to cover a lot of guitars, a lot of ukuleles, but I realize that should the opportunity arise, I should uh, look to upgrade and provide a better picture quality. Then you can see more details on these things that I'm showing you. So I will uh, um, try to do that in the coming weeks and months. Um, a couple of you have had suggestions. Uh, I don't have a massive budget for a new camera, but um, uh, if you have suggestions on that front, um, please offer them. I, I am not um, pr 
precious about these things. Uh, I don't claim to be an expert. Um, I have, I'll tell you what I have, I have a Nikon uh, D50 I think, uh, which will shoot video, I've never tried it for video, I could try that. I have this old Panasonic. Um, I have, um, I'm very much nuts and bolts when it comes to phones. Um, I had a Galaxy for a while, I got sick of it. Um, now I have a cheap uh, Apple SE, iPhone SE. Just as the basics, um, would that be a better way to shoot film, do you think? Let me know. Um, I'm not really that thrilled about trying to figure out how to do it. Um, I like this camera because I just take the video, I plug it in, I download it, I put it into uh, iMovie, and then um, I upload it to YouTube uh, with minimal editing. You know, I can do things like fades and titles and, and uh, I could learn how to do stuff. I've made music videos. If you want to check out my music video uh, channel, uh, I always put the link in the comments or in the um, main comments um, below for the video. Uh, my band is a one-man band, um, a la Early Cure, a la Nine Inch Nails. Um, you know, I play everything. Uh, I do the drums, the bass line, the guitars. And occasionally I make videos with uh, the songs. I'm not very good, but I have done some kind of nifty things, um, uh, advanced or adventurous things with video. Um, as well as my own project, um, I do classical music and ambient music under my own name. Um, and I also am in a duo, a long distance duo, with a psych folk singer named Rebsy Fairholm. And um, I produced her albums, and we decided to do a, a duet um, called Alchemical Muse, which is kind of really folky, ethereal uh, music with lots of the um, folk instruments that I've showed you on uh, one or two of the videos that I have. Uh, it's great fun. Um, the Lunatrix stuff uh, is more uh, alt, alternative, I don't know what they're calling it these days, alternative indie rock probably uh, betrays a lot of my 80s influence. That was the, the, the decade I grew up. Um, and so uh, I'm a massive Bowie fan. So you'll hear a lot of Bowie influence. You'll hear, you know, some of the dark, early 80s dark wave, um, you know, stuff like Joy Division, um, The Cure, um, Sisters of Mercy, Bauhaus. Um, that was the stuff I was into when I was younger. I've branched out since then. There are a lot of other influences that creep in. I really like Radiohead. I really like. Um, uh, I really like. Uh, uh, what's his name from Gorillaz and Blur? I like his solo music. I'm, I, gorillas are all right, but I really like his his solo stuff. Uh, Damon Albarn. Uh, I like a ton of classical music. I like like a lot of. Um, uh, finger style guitar, a lot of, you know, just so much stuff to talk about. I actually do radio slots on the Epileptic Gibbon radio program. Uh, if you have a chance, um, check it out. I'll try to remember to put a link on this video. Um, I don't, I only do a slot about every two or three months with my uh, Alchemical Muse partner. But that radio show, uh, podcast, covers a lot of material. If you really want to get into... Uh, current music, um, check out that show, listen to it regularly. The, the uh, regular host, Ian Fairholm, a, Brit, a, Brit, a British bloke who, who goes by Epi, um, he does that show and he also does a couple of uh, uh, um, slots on things like Progzilla uh, and progressive um, prog rock shows in England. And if you want, if you, if you feel like you're not keeping up with current music, that's a great resource. And I, I get invited to do it every couple of months. So every now and again, you'll hear my voice on that show. We play lots and lots and lots of new music. We play lots of um, rare music from 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, noughties. Uh, cover a lot of territory. So uh, I know a couple of people have talked to me about, about music. Um, a, a couple of people have checked out my Bandcamp page, um, which has all my recordings um, in various genres, and um, have commented about getting the music. Um, you can download it from Bandcamp. Some of them are free. I've put free albums up there. Some of them are a dollar, a two dollars, which is nothing. 
And then there are, of course, are some regular priced albums. I still have CDs for the Lunatric um, first three albums. I have uh, Alchemical Muse, the new album put out last year. Uh, I have one or two of my classic, first classical uh, records called Father to Father. Um, yeah, I have a, a, a weird sort of spoken word um, sound poetry recording called Ruins, which is really interesting. Um, so, and those, I put the, uh, the website up, flowforth.com, that's my record label. Yeah, it's a vanity project, I admit it. It's all my recordings with people that I've worked with. Um, there are a couple of Lunatrix CDs, download only. One's called Lunamorphic, uh, the other one's called Lunatronic. And that one I do various um, uh, collaborations with musicians all over the world. Uh, that's quite fun. Um, sometimes I'm doing vocals, sometimes I'm doing guitar and bass, sometimes I'm doing keyboard stuff. Um, you know, sometimes I'm playing cello. I get asked to play cello a lot because that's that was my first instrument that I'm classically trained in. So I just thought to do a video about sort of background stuff, things that I've been asked about lately. Um, um, so this one's not about guitars per se, but just to give you an idea who I am uh, a little bit more. Uh, as well as being a luthier and having worked with instruments for 25 years now, and I started off in a bass viol shop uh, many years ago and um, learned how to do violins, cellos and basses. Then I got a job um, uh, as an um, international music uh, instrument wholesale doing quality control. Um, I got to spec out certain instruments, I was on design teams, um, that kind of stuff. So I have some good experience in the whole instrument world. But I'm also a musician and I take music very seriously and I'm an avid listener of all kinds of music. I study music, I read books about music, uh, I study composers, I study um, uh, music techniques. Uh, I'll do a, a, a video uh, in the near future if you're interested, if, if it's something you like to hear about. I'll do a video on um, guitarists that have influenced me uh, that you might not have heard about or you might know little about, sort of below the radar stuff. Uh, I love talking about that stuff. Um, I can talk about cellists um, that I uh, am inspired by and listen to. I haven't done a cello video yet. I'm hoping to get a couple of cellos to set up in a couple of weeks. So I will do a cello video and I'll play for you on that video just to prove that I can play the damn thing. Um, but anyway, there's a little background. I appreciate all the questions and all the inquiries. I appreciate the people that have gone to my uh, either my record label page and my bank app page and listened to the music. If you, uh, you can order any of the downloads from bank app, you can actually, actually order the physical CDs uh, from my flowforth.com page. Um, right at the top of the page um, there are all the physical CDs and you can order via PayPal. If you don't like doing all that stuff just message me and um, you know, we'll work it out um, where I can send you what you want or what you'd like to listen to um, you know, ship it to you and you can do it via PayPal I guess. Um, but if you don't want to do it through a website you just want to talk to me person personally uh, send me a message um, and uh, my, email, my email is luna.trick uh, at yahoo.com. If you want to contact me privately, that's fine too. Um, you know, I'm pretty good at keeping up with emails because I have three different businesses. Uh, I'm constantly checking email all day. The one thing I'm not very good at is phones. I really like, don't like talking on the phone. Um, so email is a good way. Or you can message me through uh, uh, YouTube if you like. I'll try to keep up on those as well. I also have a Flowforth Instruments Facebook page that I put the, uh, I think I put a link to on all the videos. You're welcome to, to go on there. I sometimes just click links to uh, the videos that I make on here. Uh, and I also post um, reverb um, uh, pages of stuff I'm selling. So if that's interesting to you, um, you can you can uh, friend me on there and uh, message me through there if you like. Um, but I really appreciate I, the small following of people that regularly check in. Um, I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the interest. I have received uh, invitations to look at your channels and what you're doing, and I am doing that. 
uh, and I'll try to follow up uh, um, you know, on some of the things that I've seen. Uh, I, I, I love the whole collaboration thing. It's what I do. I do it musically, I do it with instruments, I do it with books. Um, so uh, the whole, the whole uh, you know, um, you check out my stuff, I'll check out your stuff, uh, is, is great. And I think artists and musicians should do that. They should have an open um, mind to what everyone else is doing. If you want people to watch your channel, read your book, listen to your CD, you got to do it for other people as well, and I'm a big believer in that. So anyway, I know this is a bit of a, a ramble, but um, I just wanted to catch up on sort of some sort of background stuff that uh, people have been talking about, and do a video, uh, fill you in a bit. Uh, as always, I appreciate your support and taking the time to watch these videos, and especially those that take the time to uh, reciprocate. I, I really do. Um, enjoy your commentary uh, and your responses. See you next time.